Welcome back everyone, Sean Stevens here again with Metroplex Mortgage Services and another USDA Loan Pro video quick tip. Do you know about the updated USDA income limits? On April 1st, 2015, USDA published updated income limits for the Single Family Guaranteed Loan Program. Today's video tip will cover the details and discuss how the recent changes could help more buyers qualify for a USDA loan. Before we get started, we have received tremendous feedback on our USDA Blueprint for Success which can be downloaded with the link below. This free guide breaks down the USDA process step by step and is a great educational resource for the home buying process. What are the USDA income limits for your county? A key part of USDA loan eligibility involves determining if your household income will meet the USDA income limits which is also known as annual income. This will include all household members, not just those who are on the loan. Understanding your applicable county limit is a critical step towards USDA qualifying. Today, we will use Florida and the Virgin Islands as an example to show how the recent USDA income limits have changed. Effective April 1, 2015, the following will apply. Previously, the majority of Florida counties were capped at $74,750 for a family of one to four people and $98,650 for a 5- to 8-person household. Those have now been increased, respectively, to $75,650 and $99,850. Now, that may not seem like very much, but just remember that these income limits apply even if you are just $1 over the limit. Just think of how many potential buyers that were on the verge of qualifying will now be able to proceed with the USDA loan. It is important to remember that USDA guidelines also permit for deductions to household income, which can include, but are not limited to, $480 for each dependent, child care expenses when applicable, unreimbursed business expenses. When deductions are applied, this will reduce a household's annual income, thus allowing for the potential to then qualify for a USDA loan. Also, I have included the following link below to check for USDA income limits in all states. In summary, never assume that your income is either eligible or ineligible for a USDA loan. Additional factors may apply, and as your USDA mortgage professional, we are here to help with the calculations. Now, if you are a realtor or a home buyer who had a previous situation where a loan was denied due to the income limitations in place, Contact us today so we can put the pen to the paper and start reviewing. Remember, not all lenders have experience with processing and closing USDA loans. I see this each and every day on the second opinions that come across my desk. As an approved USDA lender, we are known for our program expertise and have specific systems in place to process USDA loans from pre-qualification to closing. Just call or email if you have any USDA qualifying questions want to discuss a new scenario, or would just like to take advantage of our free second opinion service, which is great for those existing transactions. I want everyone to make it a great day and look forward to seeing you right here for the next Tip of the Week.